Welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. I'm Mr. TIG. Hey, I want to do a shout out and a thank you to the Lincoln Welding School in Cleveland, Ohio. I was back there recently and one of the head instructors took me to the back area where they do the tungsten grinding. And as boring as it sounds to do tungsten grinding, he showed me a wheel that they somehow found or somebody brought it to them but through experimentation they found a wheel that would last for literally thousands of grinds and I thought wow a welding school well you're gonna get a lot of students uh, you know that dip their tungsten quite frequently so what kind of a wheel is this and how much is it going to cost so I went over to this uh, pedestal grinder and there was a wheel there in it. It was kind of an odd looking wheel. It looks, looked like it was a little bit perforated and it looked like it might have a little carbide on it. Uh, but I asked him how many grinds it already had on it. And he said, well over 5,000. So that amazed me and I just want to share it with you because after I found out what the cost was and it's about $100, $115, uh, it's a pretty good deal to put into your shop. So I found this wheel and I'm going to share with you the, the part number and where to get it and I'm going to grind a couple of tungsten just so you can see how I grind my tungsten. Uh, start off with this is one of my favorite books or magazines to order from. It's called McMaster Car. And so as I, as I thumb through here and I'm looking for grinding wheels, I finally come to this one. It says bench and pedestal grinding wheels for carbides, ceramics, and glass. And uh, we'll, we'll give you all the show notes. It's on page uh, 2613. And this comes in three different grits. It comes in 100, 180, and 360. Uh, I went to the medium one. I went to the 180 grit. Um, anyway, it's just a three quarters of an inch thick wheel. It's a straight wheel, and my cost on it was $113. So let me go around the, uh, the workbench here and do a couple of grinds for you. I've got some 1 16th tungsten and 332. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you my technique, and then you can uh, perfect it any way that you like. Okay, you can see it's kind of a unique looking wheel, and the color blue represents 180 grit, and it indi indicates that in the magazine. But you can see these perforations, and I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel the little carbides on there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the wheel on. It's going to be running at a little over 3,000 RPM. I'm actually going to grind in this direction. Now, I can go the other way, but the problem is you can't quite see the angle that you're trying to grind. So here's how I do it. You know, <clears throat> actually the grind time for this was probably less than 15 seconds. Again, this is 1 16th diameter. And that's a pretty normal angle that I put on my tungsten. Fine point. Okay, now what I'm going to do is 332. Now this should take significantly longer, but uh, I'll turn the wheel on again. An actual grind time probably took me somewhere around 30 seconds, but this is also a normal grind for my applications. And you can see it's pretty consistent. I'm rotating it, and it stayed right in the center. And what's amazing is that the wheel that I saw at the Lincoln Welding School had 5,000 grinds on it. It looked brand new. Now, I probably have 300 grinds on this, and I'm sure this is going to last me a lifetime. So just thought I'd share it with you. It's one of those helpful hints uh, that I just want to share along the way. Well, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.